Hey Threadheads, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up the top secret midge. This one comes from Pat Dorsey. And if you know Pat, he's famous for tying some of these really small tailwater coronamid midge type flies. And this is one of the more popular, I guess, and one of the ones that's had quite a bit of success over the years. It's a very simple pattern. We're tying it today in a size 18 on a fire hole 633. Uh, but unfortunately these only go down to a size 18 and that's where we start this pattern So if you want to tie these ones in some smaller sizes, I would recommend the TMCO 2488 and maybe later on down the road uh, Joe will open up some smaller sizing for this hook for the material for the wing originally uh, Pat used a glamour uh, Madeira material which is fairly hard to find you can order it directly from the blue quill angler if you do need it uh, today we're going to be using a little bit of axle flash. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and I'll get your name entered into the next draw for stickers, some of the flies we tie in the channel, and a few other goodies. Let's have a look at the material list and get started. All right, let's get a fresh hook into the vise. Today we're going to be using a size 18 fire hole stick. This is model number 633. Now, unfortunately, the fire holes don't go any smaller than a size 18 at the moment. But hopefully down the line, Joe's going to add a few more smaller sizes for this style of fly. Um, and some of the other small ones that we tie. But I really like this hook, so we're going to be using it today. Uh, for thread, we're going to be using a 70D Rusty Brown UTC. And I like the UTC just because it lays nice and flat. The original thread that was used for this pattern, I believe, was a Uni Camel in an A dot. But uh, we're going to be using the Rusty Brown. It's similar in shade. And for ribbing on the fly, we're going to be using a white 6 aught uni thread. And this coils up nicely. It kind of cords up really well. So it should be a good thread to use for this. All right, so we just wrap that on the white thread. And then we'll use touching turns. And we'll just take that down to the bend of the hook. You want to make sure you have full coverage of your rusty brown thread that's going to make up the body of our fly and then we'll wrap that again up to the head of the fly we're going to add a half hitch or two at this stage and i've got a rotary vise and i'll show you how to use that here in a second uh, if you don't have a rotary vise you're going to just do the ribbing manually but since we have a rotary vise we're going to uh, twist this um, white thread we're going to just spin our bobbin in one direction to kind of cord up that thread and i'll kind of pull it up here so you can kind of see what i'm doing and we'll just spin that um a few times make always in the same direction and that will tighten the coil of the thread and that'll make it stand out a little bit more if we don't do that the thread tends to flatten out a little bit so with the rotary vise, we just have to kind of hold the white thread in one spot uh, and then just slowly twist it onto the hook shank. Now, if you're winding it manually, make sure you give the thread a twist or two every time you take it down to the bottom. So make sure you're keeping some tension on the white thread. Uh, otherwise, you're going if you relax it, you're going to lose all of your... Uh, nicely spaced and uh, well thought out segmentations or your ribbing on the fly. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a couple wraps with the rusty brown thread just to make sure that the white gets locked in there. Now I've tried this a few different ways and I have actually at this stage you can go ahead and add a top coat of hard as nails or um, some bone dry just to kind of lock that in we're going to use some axle flash here for the wing buds 
And I like this because it has both pearl crystal flash as well as some smaller microfibers in there. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but uh, kind of gives it a nice little bit of a variance. So we just tie that in and then I like to pull back the axle flash just to double it up. And then we'll take our scissors here and we're going to cut the wing buds off about half the length of the body, maybe a touch shorter. So now the only thing we need to do for this fly is take a little bit of rusty dubbing and we're using a dry fly dubbing. So this is the nature spirit fine natural dubbing and this is the rusty spinner color and you don't need much. You just need a very small little bit and especially when you're working on some of the smaller flies, you probably take what you think you need and cut it in half and that's about the amount that you're going to end up using. So we'll go ahead and we'll twist that dubbing onto our thread and I like to just between my thumb and forefinger just twist that all in one direction. I don't usually wax my thread for uh, dubbing and then we'll just apply that. We want to try and cover up the butt ends of the uh, axle flash there if we can without making it too bulky. This one didn't turn out 100% how I wanted to wanted it to but it's going to work fairly well so we're just going to wrap that one up with a whip finish. We'll go ahead and trim that and then that one's going into the fishing box. As I said this is uh, one of those really simple patterns and if you want to try and tie it smaller start with an 18 and then kind of advance your way down into some of the smaller sizes down to a 24 or even a 26 if you get brave you might need some magnifying glasses but there you go hey fly tires thanks for stopping by and checking out my fly tying videos if you enjoyed the video and want to show your support hit the thumbs up and share it to your social networks I hope you consider subscribing to the channel, and if you do, be sure to hit the bell icon to get notifications on my latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you have a question or comment, leave a message below. You'll also be entered into the next draw for some of the flies I tie and a few stickers. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.